Okay, let's look at some practical examples because uh, there's been a lot of theory so far. Um, so I'm going to talk about a spot that's actually really close to the Monash University Clayton campus. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, it's Gardner Road and Bayview Avenue. It's just a little bit west of the main campus um, and to the north. And this uh, Bayview Avenue actually um, provides a main access into the north side of the campus, particularly in the morning. Um, to get into this car park here, which is the multi-storey um, structured car park. Um, and a lot of people also come down uh, Gardner Road and make this left turn in the morning um, to get into the campus. Uh, it's quite busy um, at peak times. Um, and the project um, which I'm going to be talking about in particular is a recent upgrade to the site um, where they've introduced a slip lane um, to the to this intersection. So now this is the photo of how it looked um, a while before the um, before the works were done. But there's actually now a slip lane which comes around through there, so that traffic coming down Gardner Road and into Bayview Avenue uh, can um, turn the corner without having to give way. So, oops. so let's take an example. Um, we're going to do a fake uh, road safety audit. Um, and this first one is going to be at the concept design design stage. Uh, so basically, all we have um, is a a concept design where we're going to put uh, the plan is we're going to put in this left turn slip lane from Gardner Road into Bayview Avenue. Um, so step one, we'll select an audit team. That's me, James Reynolds. Uh, step two, we're going to collect some. The auditor team is going to go collect a bit of background information. Uh, so here I am looking uh, on Google Maps, just having a bit of an idea as to what's going on. I'm sort of identifying already that uh, there's a lot of traffic going north and south um, to this intersection from the Monash Freeway, trying to get into the campus. Um, and then there's also this uh, significant movement um, east-west uh, for pedestrians and cyclists, because further down the road on Clayton Road, uh, there's actually a signalised pedestrian crossing and um, you, um, there's also some bike, uh, bike path that leads through the neighbourhood through here to get you up and onto the Gardner Creek Trail and into the city. Um, so in, in the campus, we've obviously got this major traffic attractor, the, uh, the car park, and also there happens to be a bike arrival station uh, just near the car park as well. So those are the sort of two things that I've uh, noticed uh, from my brief um, review of Google Maps and background information. Um, and I would have a quick commencement meeting with the project team probably over the phone. Um, and then, you know, done step four, my assessing of the background information in, in that little bit there. Um, so then I'd go out and have a look at the site. Um, obviously the site has now changed. So these are some photos I took earlier on, or rather some photos that Google Street View took earlier on. So that's what it looks, what it looked like originally from the north looking south towards the intersection. Uh, you've seen this photo before. This is looking east towards the intersection. Um, and so then having looked at it during both the day and the night, I would prepare a report. And a report, road safety audit report, pretty much always has a table in the back, uh, which has the findings and the recommendations. Sometimes the report might only have findings, and I know in New South Wales, um, at least a while back, I'm not sure whether it's still the case, um, they specifically um, stated that they only wanted findings from the auditors, they didn't want recommendations. Um, but the one, the road safety audits that I'm used to, um, preparing and the, the sort of the, the typical approach is you, you make a finding, you, you describe why something is unsafe, and then you hopefully are able to provide at least a few recommendations about what might happen. Um, and, you know, within the scope of what you're able to do, you are not the designer, you're the road safety auditor, so you can't solve all the problems, um, but you can at least help push the design in the right direction or give a few practical solutions. Uh, so here we go, my item one, my finding number one, uh, the southbound bicycle lane approaching the intersection ends 50 meters to the north. So there it is in the bottom uh, left of that photo, that looks to be the bike lane there. Um, and my finding is, well, that ends before the intersection. Um, with the addition of the left turn slip lane, um, southbound cyclists 
will have to share space with fast moving traffic and that could be a potential weaving hazard for cyclists turning right and also you're now creating an intersection where traffic going south is actually going to travel through that intersection at a relatively high speed because there's a, the ability to go around that corner at 20 to 30 kilometers an hour maybe um, and that's going to be a very different condition to the conditions we have now where the bicycles um, move into the uh, traffic lane and share that lane with uh, general traffic but general traffic is having to slow right down almost to a stop to be able to turn around the corner. Um, so the recommendation is to ensure that there's adequate cycle facilities in the design and then to make sure that uh, speeds, southbound vehicle speeds don't, don't go too high when you put in the slip lane. Um, and then here we go, uh, item two, um, southbound slip lanes uh, approaching the second at high speeds, maybe hazard to eastbound cyclists and pedestrians crossing the north legs. So now I'm saying that if, you've got, if you're coming down from the north and uh, compared to pedestrians who are trying to cross over here, um, and cyclists and other traffic who are going east-west on Bayview, this traffic that now, once you put the slip lane in, are going, is going to be at high speed, could potentially be hazardous to cyclists and pedestrians um, when they go around that corner. Um, so again, uh, pretty simple recommendations. Uh, don't design it so that it's a complete racetrack. Keep, it, keep the speeds to a minimum if you can. And yeah, most importantly, make sure that you've got adequate pedestrian facilities and that um, you've got adequate cyclist facilities. Um, and then here we go, finding number three, not clear how eastbound cyclists will merge with southbound left turning. Uh, so again, that is a related finding um, to do with this potential issue of um, cyclists who are going eastbound, so away from the camera here, having to merge with traffic that has gone around the slip lane and then is going to, um, there's going to be a potential merge conflict there. Um, so step seven, uh, we'd have a post audit meeting. It might be a phone call, but it might be um, on site or it might be in person. Um, and the audit finder, the, the person that I sent the um, audit to, the project manager, uh, would then um, provide a written response. So did they accept my finding that, you know, this is potentially hazardous? and you know some sort of comment about how they're going to do it so yes i accepted your finding number one um but and i'm going to do this i'm going to put in some bicycle lanes but no um i don't agree with uh, item number three and this is why 